forth uh, to come away with it. But you know, there was a lot of coverage confusion during that stretch, which uh, you know we talked about. And those are controllable things, but it just boils down to our communication and attention to uh, certain situations. In, in the in, in the execution, we we had an understanding of what we we're supposed to do. We didn't communicate it quick enough or well enough, uh, which opened the uh, opened up the floor and obviously led to some of those threes. A little bit of both, and our effort was better. Um, you know, the attention to detail, and um, I thought we got into guys a bit, you know, forced the issue, and kind of put them on their heels, you know, at times. Um, which is a great thing to see. We don't always want to be reactionary. Um, sometimes, you know, dictate, you know, where a guys going to go or what we're going to take away. Um, so it's a, it's a good sign. We just have to do more of it. How do you describe being the gapper? He was great. His activity, um, you know, just his presence. We, we talked uh, at length yesterday, just casually, and and I think he, uh, you know, he he said he's got to be better. You know, we're playing with more purpose and energy, but doing so um, more consistently for longer stretches. I think that's the challenge. But uh, his activity is uh, it's a huge asset because, you know, even, you know, when mistakes happen on the floor, you got a guy behind you who can, uh, you know, cover some of those up. Your thoughts about how we can be Defensively, he was he was tremendous. I mean, it's it's a tough out to have to guard, uh, you know, Shea. You know, times you're switching out on um, on Dort, and those guys are extremely aggressive as far as getting downhill. We knew that going in, so being able to try and limit some of the paint, limit some of the rim attempts, uh, and do so without fouling, uh, you know, possession after possession, it's uh, it's very difficult. But I give him, I give him a lot of credit because he takes uh, pride in that, and um, you know, a lot of times he he does his job. Uh, and obviously on the flip side, he stepped up and made big, big shots. Uh, you know, guys got downhill, they found him, kicked out. And he didn't hesitate, which is, you know, that's who he is and how he plays. Uh, it was better uh, overall. Uh, you know, I think more in the half court, you know, some of the pick and rolls were problematic for us. Um, in general, those were, they were controllable, but I thought they were turnovers of aggression. So, um, you know, without, you know, having seen it again, I think the, the, the bulk of them I can live with. Well, we talked about that even before the game, you know, you know, these guys are going to play to the wire. So it's, it's not something that, you know, you can take for granted and think they're just going to go away. They're going to keep coming. They, you know, that's it's a great thing to see for Mark that he's, you know, that's part of their DNA. That they just keep fighting. Um, but, you know, it's at the same time, it's, you know, we have to find ways to minimize some of that. You know, 31 points in the fourth quarter, uh, it's not good enough. So um, we, we allowed through our own slippage, you know, them to keep it close and gave them a chance late to win it. You know, thankfully they didn't, but well, we, we've got to be better. I mean, it's at that point, it's there's nothing else you can do. Um, you know, we, we tried to, to take him away and deny it. Um, he was able to get, get the angle, catch it. And, you know, he's so quick. He got into the front court and let it let it go. When he let it go, I thought it was going in, in all honesty. So, you know, thank goodness it didn't. Is Mark not uh, a little bit under his I think, uh, yeah, I think it was. Uh, um, I don't want to diagnose an allergy, sinus, or something, but I, he, he said he's had it before and he just he made it breathing difficult, but I don't think it's anything major or of any concern. Chase. Hey, Wes. Um, you guys may have had your best uh, defensive quarter of the season so far in the third quarter. What was the approach at halftime, just uh, making adjustments coming out of the break? Uh, we didn't make a ton of adjustments, honestly. I mean, they played small. We were able to switch a little bit more. Uh, but to start the quarter, it was just our energy, you know, and I, I think that was, a, that was stressed upon our guys at half. But 
it's been a constant theme. Our third quarter starts have not been very good. So um, I think they were mindful of that and it, it worked in our favor tonight. And it looked like Denny had a wrap on his right thumb. Um, was that an injury he suffered tonight or when did he suffer it? And just kind of what's, what's the update there? Oh, uh, that was in New Orleans and um, he just jammed it. You know, it wasn't anything substantial. It was just more uh, uncomfortable for him. He, he did some treatments uh, yesterday and today. Uh, was full, full go and, and shoot around. So I think it's just more to protect it to some degree and minimize some of the uh, impact, whether that's, you know, playing defense or, you know, catching, passing, those type of things. I don't think it's anything of concern. Neil. Hey, Coach, uh, will Spencer be out tomorrow with the back-to-back? -back? As of now, yes. Um, we'll have that conversation um, and get, get a definitive answer in a few moments. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels. Thank you. Last question to Wayne. Hey, Coach, pregame you mentioned that a strength of the Thunder is their transition. After seeing it up, in, up close in person, um, can you just talk about it and then how did you feel like you uh, handled it tonight? Uh, I thought overall it was, was, was solid. You know, I think um, um, it was a point of emphasis for us, you know, getting back, building a, building a wall early. And uh, even when that breaks down, you know, they're going to get into multiple driving kicks. Everyone on that team is going to put their head down and get to the paint. So, you know, being able to protect the paint was a priority. Um, at times we were very good at it. You know, at other times we were, I think, hugged up, and opening up the floor and allowing those guys to get downhill. Um, but as far as the transition overall, I think we were solid. Um, you know, a lot of the turnovers, um, if I had to guess without, without seeing it again, we didn't have a ton of live ball, uh, which gives you a chance. Uh, you still, you know, don't get a possession, you don't get a shot up, but 15 turnovers, 14 points, ideally get that number, you know, below 10. But if you have a one-to-one -one or, you know, one-to-less or less uh, ratio, I think you can live with it. And lastly, Coach, uh, how, how were you pleased with the effort uh, from tonight's ball club? Overall, I thought the effort was great. Um, you know, I think we, we made a lot of mistakes, but the energy and effort, um, you know, our competitive spirit was, was where it should be. It's nothing new to you, but the brief kind of is in the game. Uh, how important is it to you lack of participation? Uh, it's, it's very important. Uh, it can take you out of a rhythm, um, which – a lot of time it does take me out of rhythm. Uh, so I tried tonight just to, you know, try to stay in the flow, you know, go up straight up and down when I catch the ball, you know, not try to set, set, shoot it. Um, kind of watch film on that and figured it out. Uh, just just go up until you shot and be, uh, just knock it down. Knowing in the back of your mind that they kind of gave it to the fourth quarter, that they had to come back and push what was the mindset the five minute mark and then when things are getting better? Um, we know we just gotta, you know, buckle down. You know, uh, you know, we gotta have less turnovers uh, within the uh, that scratch down the floor. Uh, our defense coverage can't, you know, break down, which which happened. Um, it's a lot of things that goes into it, but mainly just, you know, protecting the ball and then uh, being being great on defense down the stretches. Um, our switcher. You know, uh, we were trying to switch. We got – it was two on the ball at one point. Uh, Shea got the layup, the drive and the layup. Uh, so, you know, a lot of that is like a lot of confusion down the stretch, uh, which we're trying to cut out. Uh, I mean, it was good. We you know we we needed that. Uh, we needed it to come out strong. Um, Brad said it earlier. You no, know, before we even ran out on the court, you know, we just have fun. We get out there and, and have fun like we've been doing. We started it, started the season. You know, play for each other. You know, move the ball. You know, just have fun. Gilgis Alexander, you call it that, and then you might have to switch on to George, who no. built like a truck. <laughs> I mean, it's just all about personnel. 
Um, and, you know, I do my job before I get on the court. You know, I, I, I read up on them, you know, see what they, they strengths are, their weaknesses, uh, knowing I, I'm going to guard multiple guards out there. Uh, so I try to do my work early um, uh, pregame, you know, pers reading personnel, you know, getting with coaches, you know, and trying to, you know, figure out, you know, things I can do on defense to, to help my help myself and the team. You know, good What were your thoughts about how Daniel was playing? Uh, Daniel was always, you know, uh, you know, giving his all. You know, we call this stuff the X Factor, I guess. You know, he's locking up things like stuff. Uh, and we, we we like it, you know. He, he go out there, he he plays hard, you know. We know he's gonna what we're gonna get on the uh, defensive end from him. You know, he's gonna lock down. He's gonna he's gonna take pride in that. Uh, and he just, you know, then he's is getting better every day. I would say every day. Um, to get as much rest. Uh, I know I'm not gonna get as much rest, but uh, my routine is uh, treatment mostly, uh, film, and yeah, like I said, resting. Trying to you know, get my legs back underneath me. Uh, pretty much. Uh, it's not hard. We still can get with coaches. You know, but I try to, on back to back, I try to, you know, limit my uh, time uh, on the court before uh, the game. Um, try to go light, you know, to save my legs for the game. Uh, like, a, and there's just more treatment, you know, getting prepared for the game. I, I was probably mumbling, and I'm wearing a mask. Uh, you know, I think I might have heard you asking about the Bulls and Bosnia. Yes, I, I thought meant, that was. I meant to ask. Now, Gaff, I call Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Daniel. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, sure. I, <laughs> I mean, even like Gaff was tremendous tonight. You know, uh, I'm still shocked at like eight blocks. You know, yeah, eight blocks. You know, some of them were so impressive. I was like, how did you even get it? You know, uh, and he was that was good for us. You know, it was big. Uh, you know, just get us extra possession. You know, he was down there, you know, just protecting the paint, like, you know, like he's supposed to. Christos. Hey, KCP, congratulations on the win. Uh, the 1990 point, uh, your defense tonight, you allowed 99 points. This was the key factor of your win. And how important for you is to keep the your opponents down uh, Less, uh, you allow less than 100 points in every game. Uh, yeah, it's just important. You know, um, we want to, you know, we, we pride ourselves on that defensive end. Um, and getting stops is, you know, is what we're looking for. Um, but um, holding the team under uh, 100, you know, it's, it's great for us. You know, and we did it tonight. And how, what did you say about the depth of this group? And we have every, uh, a lot of players who made a step up. Tonight was you, uh, Kyle, Daniel Gafford made a huge step up on defense. What do you say about the depth? And is this your your main whip on this season uh, for the rest of the season? Uh, man, our depth is, 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 you know, we got a deep bench. You know, every, anybody that subs in, you know, uh, into the game, you know, is going to play hard, you know, going to play for each other. Um, and we just gotta, you know, our benches, you know, is it, it, good for sure. Ah, uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, uh, ugly, ugly, necessary, um, did whatever it took. Gut win, all of the above. Um, we didn't play perfect. We actually were getting killed at one point in time. Um, but, you know, that's been kind of our trend of not letting go to rope, staying resilient and staying together as a team and finding ways to win. You know, that's one thing that I can say this group has done a good job of. You know, when things don't go our way, we don't necessarily you know, play well. 
you know, as well as we want to on either end, you know, we we still find ways to to finish the game. You know, so whatever it took, you know, I think that's that's how we're, we're labeled tonight. I mean, yeah, I mean, we always show spurts of us doing, you know, really good. Um, and down the stretch tonight, our defensive effort was there, you know, uh, Gaff protecting the rim. He had like eight, eight blocks or something like that. And, uh, you know, Kuz and everybody coming in, getting in and getting rebounds. Everybody, you know, switching, being, you know, intact. I think the last one we messed up with Shea scoring, but other than that, they were all pretty much clean and we, we defended their actions pretty well. Um, but it's it's a true testament to our team, you know, of, of always, you know, staying together, staying the course and, and executing down the stretch. There's always something we could take from it, obviously, being locked in at the end of games and, you know, taking care of the ball, which I think we did a better job of doing tonight. We made sure we got shots up. Um, but it's still, a, it's still a work in progress. You know, it only gets tougher. Huge, uh, huge. Uh, just from, you know, when you see a guy block a shot, you know, you know, he's engaged on defense, you know, he has your back, you know, so your mindset is okay. I have to, like, he shouldn't have to do that every time, you know? Um, so as a guard, you kind of take pride in that. And it's like, okay, I gotta, gotta guard my matchup. Gotta be better to get into the ball, uh, playing pick and roll coverage is better. And I think we all have that mentality, but Graf is the ultimate rim protector. You know, that's why we have him in the back line and, you know, Bigs are more or less the quarterbacks a lot of time. You know, they, they see players develop sometimes before guards can. Um, you know, so definitely credit to him, Trez, and all our bigs, you know, who came in and, and contributed. But Gaff, his, his energy is one we need and feed off of him and Trez, for sure. No, I did. Ah, uh, you got to ask Gaff there. I have no idea. Uh, I wish I had half his height and half his bounce. So, seeing as I don't got neither one, I think I'd ask Gav that question. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm blessed for sure. That was important, but we, I think we still, <clears throat> we still got to get better. Uh, Thinking in the first quarter, we, we were down. We were down in the first quarter. I'm not sure. But I mean, we, there was a point in time, I think we were down 10. Um, and granted, we closed it out at the end of the quarter and brought it back, but uh, we still didn't get off to a great, great start. You know, we, we were missing a lot of overshots. Granted, that's going to happen. But I think uh, just getting back in transition, I think they had like 14 points in the paint out of their like 18 or 21 in the first quarter, you know, so. They were just driving the ball getting downhill. We have to come out a lot better, you know, being more locked in, understanding that this was a hungry team. You know, you can't look at teams' records and, uh, you know, assume that that's what type of team they are. You know, this is a team that goes hard and uh, and they love they love to push the ball, you know, and they love to break down defenses, get in the paint, kick out for three. So uh, we got to be better. We got to be better. I think our third quarter was a lot better. We got off to a good start, good jump. I think like five, six, oh, run to start the quarter, but. Uh, the beginning of the games, we still got to be better. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Uh, not at all. We 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 play an awesome game, and it's it's the best game in the world. Um, so those are the fun moments, you know. You embrace those moments more or less. Uh, but you want to try to avoid them at all costs because you, you don't want to just, just keep playing with fire. You know, you can't, I keep to, we keep telling ourselves we're not that type of team to just flip on and switch, you know. Um, granted, we figure out ways to win, but we, we have to be able to keep ourselves out of these predicaments, keep ourselves from digging holes early on and then keep ourselves from kind of playing against, you know, playing tight down the stretch. You know, we want to be able to play freely, play comfortably and not uptight. Uh, but down the stretch, I think everybody's confident, everybody's fun, everybody knows it's winning time. So I get excited. Sure. Uh, every time I tell him to touch his hand, I need to go up. Um, you know, 
especially if, if I'm handling and he sets a screen, like they're not going to switch. They A lot of guys don't know what to do. Um, the guys guarding me more or less doesn't want to switch and leave me. So, you know, that'll leave Pope, Kuz, and all the other guys open for shots. Uh, and, and that's all he did, man. I seen he had it going early. Keep giving it to him. Keep giving it to him. Um, you know, he shoots it with confidence. That's what we need. Chase. Hey, Brad, uh, what's it like being defended by Lou Dort? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Lou's a good defender. Um, he's very strong. He's physical. Uh, he's very good at angles and, and kind of forcing you to dribble wide versus straight down line. Um, he just has a knack for kind of tendencies in a way like he's he's always wants to kind of beat you to your next move um you know I think his size helps I mean, he's 220 um so I mean he he's a big he's a big guy uh uses his body well and, he's, and when you're a willing defender like he's he's takes pride in his defense you know so when you are a willing defender you know you're going to be able to get in his stance and, and uh and do his best so you know he's a he's a good defender for sure Last question to Neil. Hey, Brad. Coach kind of described the win as, you know, quote unquote, lucky. I'm curious what his message to you and the team is after the game. Is he expressing a similar sentiment or what is his motivation to you guys? Uh, I mean, it's kind of like what I said a minute ago, like we can't keep playing with fire down the stretch. You know, we can't uh, dig ourselves a hole early on and think, you know, we can just come back every single time or, you know, that we're going to, you know, kind of, like he said, kind of just slip up and look up in a lot of ways, you know, sometimes. Uh, but more or less, you know, we we understand everyone isn't going to be pretty. Everyone isn't going to be the way we necessarily want it to be. Um, but, you know, we, we'll take a win, you know, all day, every day. So uh, it's tough, but we got to get better. You know, if, if plays go our way and they're lucky, I'll take them. Yeah. Mind when you were going through all those yes, um, really just withstanding the full stint of time that I'm out there on the floor is just main thing. If I'm going to start, if I'm going to be starting throughout this season, coming out with a lot of energy is my main goal. You know, for us to have better starts than we've had in the past, these last past two losses that we've had, the start has been great. And I really would say I can take some of the blame with that because of just like energy level, it's not, it's not been there. And because of the simple fact, you know, sometimes, I, I would say I'm lackadacious. I don't do the things I need to do. I don't do the things I'm good at. I try to do things that I'm not good at and kind of gets us in a bind, puts us in a bind, you know, puts us in a situation to where we don't get the shots that we want or we get, you know, we don't get stops on defense, certain things like that. So just having energy from the jump is my main thing. Having fun and playing basketball. How do you replicate what Pro Really, you know, just repetition, figuring out the routine, figuring out your remedies, whatever you do before the game and keep it at the same way throughout the rest of the season. That's my main focus. Really just, I would say, doing the same things time and time again. Like today, I really focused on making sure my body was ready to go, making sure my mental was ready to go and making sure my energy was there before I even, you know, came out to the bus today to come to the arena. So just little things like that is what helps me, you know, get going because I'm not one of the guys that can come out and flip on a switch night in, night out. You know, there's guys out there that are great that can do that night in, night out, but I'm not one of those guys. I got to, you know, take time. You know, I'm like a, <laughs> I'm like an old, you know, I would say Pontiac or old Camaro or something. You got to, you know, let that warm up before you take it on the road. <laughs> hey, you want to you be a Mm-hmm. Um, pretty much all of them. The main guy that I really have most of my talks with is Alex McLean. You know, he uh, he's always in my ear telling me to, you know, find ways to get myself going early and get myself going pretty much even before I even get on the floor. You know, because like like I said, I'm not one of those guys that can come out night in, night out and just flip on a switch. You know, it might happen time and time again, but that's rare, you know. 
So being able to come out and have my mind already set on the things that I need to do and the things that I'm good at and really work towards that, not really trying to go take the game, but let the game come to me is something that is like we really, you know, have conversations about. Um, pretty much everybody, you know, it's always talks from certain guys on the team, you know, just this past loss that we've had, the New Orleans loss, you know, we really had a conversation about just like, you know, the energy on the bench and the energy coming, you know, off the floor during the timeout and stuff. You know, it's a long 48 minutes. Can't really just hold our head when something doesn't go our way. We got to withstand the punch. We got to take the punch. We got to throw one back. That's the main focus, you know, especially when guys like OK, OKC, they came out and they tried to make a run in the end and they could have had a possible chance to win the game if we would have let them, you know, if we would have folded and let them do the things that we wanted them to do. But, you know, we locked in. Everybody was with each other. We played together as a team, played together as a unit. You know, we was there for each other. Everybody was there for their brother, patting them on the back, telling them it's okay. You know. Chase. Hey, Daniel, we um, we talk so much about getting into a shooting rhythm. Is there such thing as a, a shot blocking rhythm where, you know, maybe some nights you have it more than others or maybe a matter of timing, you just feel like you can block a lot more shots some nights than others? Um, I feel like in certain instances I can do a lot better in some of, you know, the positions that I put myself in, you know, being in a spot early, being, the, uh, I would say being, you know, in the right place at the right time, especially for some of the blocks that I could have throughout this year, you know, it's just a level of work ethic and the level of like really just staying locked in and not letting, you know, anything fly and not taking plays off. That's my main thing. So really just my thing is working on my level of consistency with not taking plays off and being able to be in the right spot at the right time, rotating earlier than what I usually do, you know, certain things like that. Last question to Christos. Hey, Daniel, great game, first of all. Uh, is the defense your main weapon as a team? Because you made a huge step up tonight. You allowed just 99 points. And how important is to keep uh, your opponents uh, in less than 99, uh, in less than 100 points in every game? Um, I mean, it's real important because, you know, that shows that we're actually out there trying to contain and working to keep the guys that are usually trying to go off, keep them in a sustained area and just really just paying attention to detail, you know, paying attention to detail is one of the things that helps us be able to withstand the full 48, no matter what a team throws at us, you know, because, you know, we got guys on the perimeter that, that plays, you know, intense defense. You got a guy in the back, you know, that's anchoring me, my trash, and pretty much whoever's at the five spot, then all the guards on the perimeter that's basically playing, you know, the tail off on defense and just playing as a unit on defense, just leading to early offense, you know?